Are you looking for the best tripod for vlogging? Whether you vlog with a DSLR, an iPhone, or pretty much any other camera out there, we're gonna take a look at the new SwitchPod, which could definitely be your answer. Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video, where we help you amplify your business and brand with video. If you're new here, make sure you click that subscribe button and all the links to everything we mentioned in this video, you can find linked in the description box below. So let's jump into it. Now, when it comes to vlogging tripods, there really hasn't been a ton of innovation in the market to date. And it's really surprising given the popularity of vlogging and the fact that the requirements of you to carry around a tripod and to be able to film yourself at the same time and the flexibility in that really doesn't match how traditional tripods are built. Most vloggers resort to options like the Joby Gorilla Pod, which is a flexible tripod that can be adjusted for carry around use, but it's also super clunky to switch back to a more static tripod to set it up on a desk or on a flat surface. A couple of friends of ours, Caleb Wojcik from DIY Video Guy and Pat Flynn from Smart Passive Income recognized that there was a problem and they came up with their own solution, the SwitchPod. It's a purpose-built vlog tripod that's designed to be portable, travel friendly, and easily switch between carry around and set down modes. After checking it out for ourselves, it's clear that these guys have put together a really great option for a lot of our users, whether they're vlogging or not, and no matter if you're using DSLR point and shoot or even just your smartphone. So in this video, I'm gonna run through my thoughts on the SwitchPod and everything you need to know to decide if it's the right option for you. And while we're taking a look, let me know down in the comments, what's your go-to tripod for traveling or vlogging? I'd love to hear. All right, so as we go through, I'm gonna be comparing it to the current vlogging tripod king, the Joby Gorilla Pod, to give you a bit of context as to where the SwitchPod stands out and also where it may be a better option for specific use cases. All right, so the SwitchPod is super lightweight, it's incredibly strong, and it easily switches between vlogging mode, or handheld, to expanded mode to set it down. Now this is one of the biggest standout features with the SwitchPod, and you can actually transition with the tripod between the two different modes single-handedly and super fast. Comparing that to the Gorilla Pod with its flexible legs, which is really clunky and really needs two hands to pull each leg out, and it takes a little bit of time to transition between the two modes, between holding it and placing it down somewhere. Now, over time, those flexible legs on the Gorilla Pod do lose their strength and end up slipping. So with the design of the Switch Pod, you've really got no chance of this happening. The Switch Pod is really comfortable to hold and has purpose-built hand grips or hand placement marks all the way up the legs, which make it comfortable to hold, but also make it really easy to hold and balance the camera on there. Compare that to the Joby, which isn't purpose-built for this at all, it's not comfortable to hold, and it's really not designed to be used this way. There's a screw section under the head where you mount your cameras, allowing you to easily tighten or loosen your camera on there so you're able to get it on or off quickly. And it also removes the need to carry any tools or screwdrivers or anything with you to be able to have that option. On the bottom side of the Gorilla Pod, you've got a flat screw section, meaning if you wanna tighten everything up to make everything stable, then you're going to need a screwdriver to be able to do that. Just like on the Gorilla Pod, the Switch Pod has little rubber sections on the feet. So it's gonna be nice and soft when you're putting it down, but also so you're not gonna scratch any surfaces if you're moving this around. But they've also added magnets in the legs to keep them stuck together, either when you're not using it or when you wanna use it in handheld mode. And they've also added mounting points on the legs, which you could use to mount a microphone, a light, or really any other accessory. Now in regards to the downsides or what it's not, it's not as flexible, meaning that if you do want to hang it in a tree or wrap it around a pole or put it in a really uneven surface, then it's not going to do as good a job as something like the Joby. For the vast majority of vloggers, this isn't going to be a big issue. Just like with the Joby, if you're going to be mounting it on uneven surfaces, then you could attach a ball head to the top for greater control, for leveling and everything while you're shooting. But even with that, I'd say for most people, you're probably not even gonna need the ball head with the SwitchPod tripod. So looking at pricing then, the Joby Gorilla Pod sells for around the $90 price point for the 5K model, which is the strong one, the popular one. The SwitchPod's gonna be selling for under $100. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be in the range of $80 to $100. So who would I recommend this for and for what use cases? Obviously, if you're doing vlogging, then you seriously need to consider this. If you're doing lots of traveling, if you want something that's portable, that's light, something that you can use single-handedly and something that's not gonna deteriorate or lose its strength over time, then this is probably the tripod for you. On the flip side, if you're someone who really likes to put your camera in random places and you need the flexibility in those legs to 
mount at random places like in a tree or around a pole or something like that, then you're really gonna be needing something like the Gorillapod because there's no other tripods that are gonna give you that flexibility. But even in that use case, it's highly likely that if you are someone that likes to get super creative and mount your camera at different random places, that you're probably not doing that all day, every day, or for the bulk of your filming. So it could be the case where you consider one of each, and that way you've got the best of both worlds. You've got something for the bulk of your filming, for the day-to-day -day stuff, and then you've got something that's flexible to mount in random places. But I'd say for most people out there vlogging, the switch pod is gonna be where it's at. So big props to Caleb and Pat. I think what they've created here is something that is really awesome. It's gonna be an absolute game changer in this space. And again, links are in the description box below to where you can find out more. All right, it's that time in the video where there are videos linked on screen. One of them is one that we think is going to be a great fit for you. And the other one is what YouTube is suggesting. So who knows what it is? I hope you like them. I'll see you soon.